Tango Makes Three by Justin Richardson and Peter Parnell, illustrated by Henry Cole. In the middle of New York City, there's a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has to a toy boat pond where they can sail their boats. It has a carousel to ride on in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. Best of all, it has its very own zoo. Every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. But children are the and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda bear families with mothers and fathers and furry red pa panda bear cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey moms raising noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families and cotton top tamarind families too. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. Every year at the very same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins and the boy penguins start noticing the girls. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other, and they walked together. They sang together, and they swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins, and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gramsey, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home, so they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept there together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Sol Silo saw that the other couples could do something they could not. The mama penguins would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch. And then there would be a baby penguin. Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching, and he brought it into their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo carefully sat on it and sat. And sat. When Silo got sleepy, he slept. And when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam, and Roy sat. Day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock, but nothing happened. And then Mr. Gramsey got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for, and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. Roy and Silo knew just what to do. They, they moved the egg to the center of their nest. Every day they turned it, so each side stayed warm. Some days Roy sat while Silo went for food. Other days it was Silo's turn to take care of the egg. They sat in the morning and they sat at night. They sat through lunchtime and swim time and supper. They sat at the beginning of the month and they sat at the end of the month. And they all and they sat all of the days in between. Until one day they heard a sound coming from inside their egg. Peep, 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 it said. Roy and Silo called back. Squawk, squawk. Peep, peep, answered the egg. Suddenly, a tiny hole appeared in the egg shell, and then... Crack! Out came their very own baby! She had a fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. Now Roy and Silo were fathers. We'll call her Tango, Mr. Gramsey decided, because it takes two 
to make a tango. Roy and Silo taught Tango how to sing for them when she was hungry. They fed her food from their beaks. They snuggled her in their nests at night. Tango was the first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. Soon, Tango grew strong enough to leave the nest. Roy and Silo took her for a swim, just like all the other penguin families. And all the children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with the other penguins. Hooray, Roy! Hooray, Silo! Welcome, Tango! They cheered. At night, the three penguins returned to their nest. There they snuggled together, and like all the other penguins in the penguin house, and all the other animals in the zoo, and all the other families in the big city around them, they went to sleep. All of the events in the story are true. Roy and Silo are called chinstrap penguins because of the delicate line of black feathers that loop under their beaks as if to hold a hat in place. After years of living side by side in the Central Park Zoo, they discovered each other in 1998 and they have been a couple ever since. Tango, their only chick, was born from an egg laid by another penguin couple named Betty and Porky. That couple had often hatched their own eggs, but they had never been able to care for more than one at a time. In the year 2000, when Betty laid two fertile eggs, Rob Gramsey decided to give Roy, Silo, and one of those eggs a chance to become a family. If you go to the Central Park Zoo, you can see Tango and her parents splashing about in the penguin house along with their friends, including Nipper, Squawk, Charlie, Wasabi, and Pee Wee. There are 42 chin, chin strap penguins in the Central Park Zoo and over 10 million chin straps in the world, but there's only one tango.